I think as we think about M&A and we think about growth, the one thing we keep preaching, and, and even on the call today when I announced the company that we raised and on the funding, I said, we're so stoked, we raised 13 million bucks, this is great news, let's remember where we came from, let's remember we built this company, so we're gonna do $60 million in revenue this year, we've raised $1.8 million because we have discipline and because we don't get out over our skis and we don't get overexcited and we don't, we don't drink our own Kool-Aid. Uh -huh. And um, that's not always true because sometimes we do. But generally speaking. <laughs> that totally contradicts what you said right, before right. we went on stage, but by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm downstairs like, oh shit, we are killing it. No, what, like, we're, we're, no we don't drink our own Kool-Aid. Like we, we, we know what we're building and we're really true to it. We're really true to the audience. And there are times where you lose your way or you lose focus. And uh, you know, going out and raising money and being sort of absent for a month, you know, we did a very, very, very tight process amongst people that we knew beforehand and had good relationships with. That being said, it was a, uh, it's, it's a time consuming and sort of stressful process. And yeah. even going and sort of disappearing for a month to get the stuff ready and go out and pitch a few people, I came back and felt disconnected from the business and, and realized that like the, we were just rolling and we still need to be so meticulous and the fact that we have 13 million dollars we've been profitable profitable for five years i don't want to not be profitable i'm not going to go plunk a bunch of money down and just like lean into things because we have the money uh -huh. this is about we need to stay every but, but bit why as not? careful i mean because everyone else does that and those guys suck i mean like <laughs> that is it just there are situations where people can go and do that and do this like grow super fast and cross your fingers and hope that like the macroeconomic situation is right for before the bottom falls out of your made up business for someone to go and pay you a lot of money or to, or to go public or you can build a business that you know some large media company happens to have to have because of you know some embarrassing announcement that forces them into a situation or whatever uh -huh. like but to build a business that's really sustainable like I want my kids to see Thrillist uh -huh. and that doesn't mean that I want to be working there in you know 125 years when I have kids but it I assume you're going to adopt. <laughs> Very old kids. I'm going to adopt kids who are significantly older than me. Um, They've probably seen the right. list already. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and they will launch our older person publication. Uh, the list for dips. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Has anyone ever done that? Has anyone ever? <laughs> thrillist, no, wait, has anyone what? ever adopted, adopted a kid old older? Kids or launched That's thrillist so for crazy. Gents. That idea is so crazy to me. I'm doing I research on that. I think you would night. be the adopted one if you. I don't know. Adopted I don't know. I'm looking into this. If, are if you, anyone here are can you Google this, <laughs> are you <aware>? adopted. <laughs> Do you understand what a kid is? I do, but look, <laughs> I don't know what the laws are around this, but I'm going to make an attempt to get myself an older kid. Uh, do you, what, do you, want, you want them to basically be Clean a, up around a the man, house? A maid? Walk I think you're dog? talking about a maid. <laughs> no, well, I'm a little boy. I love a maid him. you don't pay. <laughs> uh, this is just getting weird. I love him so much. <laughs> I don't know what we were talking about. You just raised $13 million. You don't need to yes. adopt slave labor. <laughs> <laughs>